Welcome back to the final cut. Yes, we are back by popular demand, and I have a great lineup of movies to review for you today. So let's get started right away. First off, we're going to take a look at Live Free or Die. Not to be confused with Live Free or Die Hard. No, no, this movie's probably a lot funnier. Then we're also going to dig into our What the Frack Bin as we take a look at the movie called Axum. I've also got a retro trailer on deck, so kick the tires and light the fires, and let's get this party started. Welcome to the return episode of The Final Cut, if you will. I am your host, 3M, and we're going to start off right away with the tale of John Rugged Rudgate, a down-and-out, lackluster criminal who has big dreams of becoming the big mastermind criminal of New England, but always coming up short. Yes, I am telling the tale that is in Live Free or Die, a very funny movie brought to you by two of the writers of Seinfeld, Greg Kevin and Andy Robin. They make the jump from the small screen to the big screen in a big way in a very funny movie. I had the privilege of watching this movie for the trivia kickoff movie for the world's largest trivia contest here in Stevens Point and let me tell you I laughed my butt off. John Rugged Rudgate is played by Aaron Stafford who you may recognize as Pyro from X-Men 2 and X-Men 3. Well now he's back as John Rugged Rudgate and a very hilarious job. With his supporting cast Legrand played by Paul Schneider as well as Putney, the deputy always on the heels of John Rugged Redgate, played by Michael Rappaport. Legrand, on the other hand, has his hands full with his sister, Cheryl, who is played by Zoe Deschanel, who you may recognize from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Well, she's gone from the Galaxy to the U-Rent in Massachusetts, and let me tell you, she does it in a very funny way. Now, they are also joined by Judah Freelander, who you may have seen in 30 Rock. Well, he plays Hesh, the owner of a hardware store that becomes the victim of one of John Rugged Rudgate's master plans. Folks, this is a very funny movie, and it is out on DVD now. It was set for limited release, and I'm fortunate because I really think this movie would have made a big blockbuster hit. One of those sleeper films, if you will. It is an independent film. It doesn't have a big budget. But with a movie like this, you don't need a big budget. In fact, it might even ruin it. Now we're going to take a look at the retro trailer for tonight. Yes, I'm setting the Wayback Machine and taking you to one of the first TV-to-movie movies that I've seen in the theaters and I thought actually was quite humorous. Let's take a look at an original trailer for the Brady Bunch movie. There is a line between what is normal and what isn't. Between what is natural and unnatural. Between the rational and the irrational, a line that one family crossed long ago. Here's a story. The Brady Bunch. Put on your Sunday best, kids. We're going to Sears. All right. It's 1995. All right, this is a car, Jack. Well, of course this is a car. Uh, but my name's not Jack. It's Greg. And this is my sister, Marcia. Hi. The world we know has changed. I think you were the prettiest girl in the entire school. I know. The Bradys. Time to put your bookmark in, Mr. Brady. Never will. Marcia did it again. Marcia, Marcia, Marcia. I think Peter's a babe. Uh, well, in a Gilligan sort of way. Daddy, there's a Brady in our yard. So why don't you hop back on the Swiss Miss package where you belong, huh? Okay. So, hey, dinner's ready. Oh, I love. I'm sure no one will ever notice. Paramount Pictures presents The The story of America's most unforgettable family. It looks like rain. You better take your shawl. Uh, Doug, do you have any protection? Oh, yes, ma'am. Assorted colors and textures. That's a fine boy Marcia's got there. The Brady Bunch movie. Doug, I think I just felt your tongue in my mouth. That's called a French kiss, Marcia. I thought you were from Nebraska. Ooh. 
Yes, the Brady Bunch movie, folks. I think it is quite funny. Go check it out at your local video store. Should be on the dollar rack for 10 nights or whatever they have. Uh, but definitely an entertaining movie uh, and one that I'm sure that you will laugh your socks off. Or, you know, at least find better than most of the comedies made today. Folks, I had to dig deep for the king of all horror. What the frack movies? Yes, it's called Axum. This movie is bad, folks. Uh, it's a story about a group of friends who decide to take a weekend trip, and they end up coming across a friend who suffered some trauma when their family was killed, and he's back for revenge. Now, I didn't really gain this knowledge from the movie. No, no, I bought it right from the back of the video. That's right, folks, I recommend you read the video box first before watching the film so you have an idea of what the plot is, because the movie itself never gets there. There's a party scene where you're trying to figure out exactly who's saying what because all the audio is at the exact same level. There's this random scene of this entertaining, uh, looks like talent type show that was put on by a campus. That's that's fantastic. I actually like that, how that was shot better than the rest of the film. Uh, they could have just did the movie on that, but they felt to tag that onto the front of this very... N horrible movie folks uh, it's it's bad it's just bad the friends go out the audio's bad the video quality is bad it's shot with a camcorder and i have seen some movies shot with a camcorder that look fantastic this ain't one of them folks uh if you are looking for b film it, horror it's below b it's like z grade it's it's bad it's it's yes but if you're into bad movies you're looking for a bad movie that is almost fun to watch because it's so bad, that would be Axum. Uh, but that's borderline, folks, really. Uh, you can rent this film, maybe if your video store catches it, or if you really are a glutton for punishment, go and buy it. It's on DVD even now. Uh, they transferred it directly to VHS to DVD, so you should find it fairly cheap. Uh, maybe someone's even giving it away on a free cycle or something. But definitely a movie only for the B horror film fan everyone else avoid it like the plague well i do appreciate you joining us here at the final cut i hope to be back more than every 6 months i thank for all my friends for sticking by me and understanding and look for me again real soon in about 2 weeks for another edition of the final cut until then remember keep your ticket stub <laughs>